Hello, I'm back. And I guess if you're back, that means you got that, hmm, these two done. Now, this is what our piece looked like so far. Don't worry about the curls, as I said, we're going to iron it at the end. Okay, now, what we need to do, start putting this a little further away from the camera, is do these two straps. And this strap is going to be longer than this strap because this is where the Velcro comes in and will be on here in Velcro like that. You want to make sure you don't do it too small. I did this too small, so I'll be stretching it. So, but we're going to do these two straps and so you're going to measure. You're going to put this around your ankle and Velcro it to your ankle. Then you're going to come up one, two, three, four, five, six, to the seventh stitch up. And put your hook in the seventh stitch. And you're going to measure from here to here on your foot. Make sure the back is centered in the middle of the back of your foot. So you know you get the right. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it twelve or thirteen? Oh, that's my slip stitch. Twelve. But I think I'm gonna make mine oh no, that's right. I made my back wider, so I have to measure mine. So you measure yours, I measure mine. Mine's is four and a half inches, so we're going to see how many rows that is. Now, I said I wanted to come up seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is five stitches wide. So we're going to cast on, like always, whoops, there we go, I'm going to cast that on, and don't forget to weave in your little tail, two, three, four, five, cut off your little tail, okay, so, as we always do, cast off, do one, and then cast off for two, whoops, So, you want to continue here until you reach the inches. What did I say mine was? I think four and a half inches for mine.
almost forgot mine was shorter than the last one, so how many inches do I have? Three. Wow, what did I do that last time it was only... That's probably why I was stretching things. Not quite four and a half inches. So maybe I should do two more rows. I don't want to be like, I don't want to put all the more in there and then. Dang it. Gonna be too short and I'll be mad. I'm doing the whole thing this part which is because I need to show you how to connect it to the back part okay this is my four and a half inches I ain't doing it no more let's see let's make sure let's make sure Four and a half. Okay, I need to. No slip stitching across. Not yet. I'm gonna take it around to the back. Oops. The way you measure this one is. I like to go like this. I want to have mine going in an angle. How about you? Didn't have the last one going in an angle, but I meant to, and I did, and I forgot. So, I think about the fourth stitch up from the bottom, which is one, two, three, whoops, one, two, three, four. Okay? Now, what you want to do is you want the yarn behind behind your work and you want to pull it through okay put this in the front of your work pull your yarn from behind your work pull through and pull through that one cool now we're going to go through the front post oh you can see that front post and then also put it through the next stitch then wrap the yarn around pull through that stitch that front post and the loop on the hook Let's do that again through the 
front post, stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull through the front, through the stitch, the front post, and the, <coughs> excuse me, loop one of your hook. Front post, stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull through stitch, front post, and loop on a hook. Last one, front post, stitch, loop, stitch, front post, loop. Now, since we're going to fasten off after this, we're just going to cut this up here. Make sure you leave enough room to fasten off. And this is behind our work, and we need it to be in front now. So you're going to pull that piece in the front, and you're going to fasten off. One, two, pull it through. There we go. We'll leave that in later. Now, we're going to talk about your other side. Oops, upside down. Your other side. So, you're going to cast on here on the other side. Don't forget, you count seven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, this seven one actually counts as one when it's on this side. So, you want to count five over. One, two, three, four, five. And put your hook in. Then you want to... If not your stitch, slip not. Okay, don't forget that this is the side where it velcros on to this side. So what you're going to do is make this one longer than this one because you're going to need the extra room. So mine's was four and a half inches. I'll make it five inches. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 16 rows. So I'm going to have 3 more rows, which will make it 19 rows. So go ahead and cast on your yarn for 5 stitches. That's 5. Clip off your tail. Make sure you leave that tail in. Clip off your tail. And cast off one. And cast off two. Two, two, two. Continue on until you get the inches that you need. Count the rows that you did on this side. Do that same many plus three more. And I'll see you in a minute. Peace.